two-tone concrete is such a hot look in interior design at the moment, and pillar candles will never go out of style. No reira, me hanu mea ngā mea e rua. Let's combine the two together and individualise something for your room or he taonga motohua, or a gift for your friend. Anei ngā rau mi, all we need is fine cement or mortar, white concrete oxide powder, kōpare me ngā whao ringa he arahi puehu, dust mask and rubber gloves, plastic bottles with the tops cut off, bucket for mixing, trowel, sugar thermometer, double boiler, soy wax, wicks, gold dust or decorative additives for wax, essential oil, sharp craft knife. Ko te mahi tuatahi. So the first thing we're going to do is cut off the top of the bottle. So my bottle is nice and straight along the edges and it's got a flat bottom. Need to look after these babies, so I'm going to put some gloves on and my mask. Mix up one cup of mortar to quarter of a cup of white oxide, as per instructions on the bag. Adding water slowly until the concrete is like porridge. Kariti rao no te rai ma kite pariti he kurari dari. It's just like making rewana. So this is the texture that we want. I'm going to fill this mould up about 5 to 10 centimetres and I'm going to use this funnel. Kei au tēnei kōrere tātāri. Plus it delivers the concrete to the bottom of the bottle. Duru hia pao pao hia. I'm just going to tap it down so I get rid of all the air bubbles. Kia pao pao hia, kia ruru hia. Wai hoki tētahi ruma ko tāo tāo, pauri hoki kia toka hia. So leave it in a dark, cool space so that it cures. Leave it for at least 24 hours or a couple of days is even better. This is what it looks like after two days of curing. So it has a little bit of a skin on top. All you have to do is get like a skewer, something sharp, and then start scratching it off. And then what it looks like afterwards, after you've done that, is it looks like this. Nice and clean and tidy. And now it's time to add the magic. Hei whaka niko niko ake. All I have here is this little gold dust bought from an art shop. And I'm just going to brush it along the top. The reason I'm putting the gold dust along the sides is that when the candle wax goes in, it's going to all merge in together. End up being my gold marble wax. Now it's time to melt wax. So I've got my soy wax chips and I'm just pouring them into a double boiler. I'm using a bowl over a saucepan of simmering water. It's hard to clean a pot after it's had wax in it. He ua ua te horoi kōhua. Mena he wākiha i piriana, so you use an old bowl. Once your soy wax is completely mounted, we need to use the thermometer to get it to the right temperature. You can add a couple of drops of essential oil at this point. Now it's time to put the wax into our mould. Keep the wick vertical by draping it over two pencils or chopsticks resting across the top of the mould. So, make sure that you leave your candle overnight so that it sets. I'm really, really happy to see how the gold dust has made all these little flecks inside the candle wax. It's done it all around. And it looks bloody amazing. All I have to do now is demold it. Cut the plastic to the top of the candle and then peel off. Careful not to cut so far through that you mark the concrete. Oh my word. All I have to do now is cut the wick and light the candle. Wow, te tiro mai, anō te atahua. This looks awesome, this looks amazing. I think I'm gonna make another four and make a cluster so I have another centerpiece for my table.